right guys, today we're covering all the foot switches and what they do and how they work. I'll start on the far left with the preset switches. Obviously in the LCD you have your current preset. You'll have the preset number, the name, you'll have the five effects that are being applied and you'll also have the hit uh, button that will illuminate when you utilize the hit button on the foot switch, which we'll cover in a moment. As far as the presets go, if you want to scroll down, you hit the preset down button. If you want to scroll up, you hit the preset up button. Pretty self-explanatory. The only thing to really note here is if you press and hold, it'll continue to scroll, and you can get you, which will get you close to the preset you're looking for, and then from there you can fine-tune it by stepping on it uh, step by step. And you can also do the same thing going up. You can scroll up, let's say I want to get to 300, and sure enough, it'll get me close. And <clears throat> there's my preset. The other thing I want to mention about the preset buttons is if you want to, you'll, you'll notice it says talk tuner on the far left over here. With that, if you hit both buttons with your foot at the same time, you'll get a digital tuner that's very, very nice. And what you can do is when the tuner is activated as it is now, your guitar will be muted. So you'll tune and your audience won't hear you tuning. You'll see it here. And in the meantime, you can also use the preset switch to cycle through your presets while you tune. So if you're multitasking, you you need to tune in between songs, hit both buttons at the same time, brings up the tuner, you tune. While you tune, you can also be hitting the preset button with your foot, getting you to the next preset. And we're gonna cover presets in depth uh, in, in a later video. So that handles the preset side of things. Then I want to bring your focus to the hold for looper, the microphone and the guitar button. Think of it as a three position switch. Um, but well, there's a caveat. If you just hit the switch, it'll cycle between the two top sections, the microphone, the vocal effects, and the guitar effects. And if you hold the button, it'll get you into the looper. So it does do three things, but you can think of it like if you, as you press the button, it just cycles you between, and you'll notice a little icon here. Uh, you have two indicators, by the way. You'll have the red lights that are being lit up, lit up. So you'll have red lights if you're in the guitar layer, and you'll also see a little guitar icon in the LCD. If I cycle off of the vocal layer and go to, I'm sorry, off of the guitar layer and go into the vocal layer, you'll see a little microphone icon, which is kind of cute. And they also uh, will light up blue. So if you look down and you see a bunch of blue lights, you know you have, you're on the vocal uh, presets. And if you hit it again and it goes red, you know you're on your guitar presets. I also want to note, note down here where it says double comp harmony drive. These are labeled this way with these double labels because if you're in the vocal section, the top will apply. Basically this will be a, double, a doubler, this will be a harmony uh, foot switch. If you're on the guitar side, then use the bottom labels, compression and drive, which makes sense. So basically depending on the position you're in here will depend, determine what label is actually being used for these two switches. I hope that makes sense. Now I want you to notice that we have in the LCD we have right now uh, we're in the guitar effects screen. We have red lights, we have the little guitar icon so we know we're in the guitar effects. On the LCD you'll notice five effects. U-mod, micromodulation, delay, reverb, compression, and drive. The hit button or all hit here that's not an effect. It's basically a switch that controls if these items are on or off. And I'll give you an example of that that'll make sense. So let's say we're jamming right now, we're on the verse, and we're on the guitar effects layer, and all we want is reverb. But then we hit the chorus. What you can do is by hitting the hit switch, <laughs> of course I wasn't ready for this, none of my additional effects have been uh, enabled. So let's try it this way. Now I have Delay, reverb, harmony, and drive. Now because I hit them while I had the hit switch on, they're now being set to the hit switch. So if I hit the, hit the hit switch again, I would expect these to turn back off, which they just did. So again, let's say you're jamming the verse. All you want is reverb on the verse. Then you go into your chorus. By hitting hit, it will turn on these additional effects. So with, with, a, with a tap of one button, you can control enabling or dis disabling additional effects. And if you wanted to add an additional effect to the hit, you can just apply it while the hit's on. And then when you hit the hit button, it'll turn those off. And then when you turn the hit back on, 
it'll turn them on. Now, you can also assign these through the guitar effects menu, which is up here, which we'll cover later, and also the vocal effects menu. But right now, I really wanted to focus on how the foot switches work. That's pretty much it. So visibly on the LCD, you'll see five effects. Again, U-Mod, Delay, Reverb, Double, and Harmony, or if you're on the guitar layer, Comp, Compression, and Drive. <clears throat> oh, you'll notice if you switch out of the guitar and go to the vocal effects, you'll notice that it, it changes the labels here to Double and Harmony. Double and Harmony. Kind of, kind of like how I mentioned earlier. 